Last week we pulled the samples, two days later met with the cabinet officials in Frankfurt at the state capitol and uh, met with the Department of Environmental Protection and the Department for uh, Natural Resources. Uh, Carl Campbell is the commissioner for that, he's a cabinet official. And he was pretty straightforward and quick. Uh, he was very grateful that he declared the Howard family as well mine impacted. At that point, that set off a chain of legal ramifications that the mining company had to come up with drinking water for these families within 24 hours and have it delivered to their doorstep. That happened. How was it declared uh, mine impacted? They had come and pulled some water samples and they based their mine impact on methane. Uh, they pulled a very limited uh, metals. They pulled manganese and iron. Those were out of parameter too. I did get an admission from the cabinet that when I looked at those reports, they had five reports in front of me. One of them, they hadn't done anything. So four of them that I looked at very quickly because they wouldn't let me take the report home. I had to FOIA it, the Freedom of Information Act request. <clears throat> but in the quick review of the numbers, I just looked up at him and asked, I said, can we all agree that this water is not potable regardless of any methane issue? That the man, you know, it's basically the manganese and iron were out of, out of whack. Uh, I mean, iron is an element you need, but in too large a quantity, it can shut your liver down. And how, how large were the quantities in the I test? I don't have the figures with me. Okay. But it was many times over the EPA guideline for safe drinking water. And so they, they agreed that it was non-potable. So that was good. Uh, Mr. Cam I asked Mr. Campbell if I could have his word that he'd make it right for these people, and he gave me his word that he would. Where does the process go from here? Um, <clears throat> the mining company must submit a plan as to how they will solve this issue permanently to replace the water that was lost. The only solution at this point is to bring a municipal line in. Uh, they've tried drilling wells, and that doesn't work to replace. So. The municipal line is about a thousand feet away, so but it's on in Martin County Water District, not Pike County, so they'll just have to get an agreement between the two counties, get the easements, run the water line, and then at that point that water line is hooked up free of charge for the Howard family, and there'll be no bill on the water for 20 years.